Joyce here, Certified Health and Nutrition Coach. Thanks so much for stopping by. Happy Filipino American and Hispanic Heritage Month. To celebrate both cultures, we're cooking a dish that is common in both kitchens called picadillo. And this dish has the same root, which is Spanish colonization. Now to honor our health history and heritage, we're making a heart healthy version of the picadillo. So make sure to watch all the way to the end for the cooking and nutrition tips. And if y'all can do me a solid, hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And without further ado, vamos in Spanish, tara in Tagalog, and let's go in English. All right, y'all, what you're gonna need is a large pot of ladle, a pound of ground beef, a cup and a quarter of diced onions, it could be any type, two cups of diced tomatoes, three quarter cup of diced potatoes, bread preferably because it's less starchy. Then we have some vegetables. These are frozen and there's nothing wrong with them. Actually, they're very convenient and just as nutritious as fresh ones. So we have diced carrots and peas. Then we have two tablespoons of avocado oil and this actually has the same nutrition profile as extra virgin olive oil, just higher smoke point. We have a tablespoon of minced garlic. We have a teaspoon and a half of soy sauce or liquid aminos. Then we have a heaping quarter cup of jalapenos and a tablespoon of tomato paste. As far as the relationship between Mexicans and Filipinos in America, we actually joined forces back in the mid 1960s in California to form one labor union. So the Filipino labor union was called the Agricultural Workers organizing committee led by Larry Itliong and the Mexican labor union was called National Farm Workers Association led by Cesar Chavez. So both formed together one union called United Farm Workers. If y'all are curious about this history, I put the link to the United Farm Workers website below. Heat the pot to medium high heat and add your oil. Okay. Let's distribute that a little bit. Let's go ahead and add our onions. Cook it until it is translucent. All right, let's add our tomatoes. And traditionally in the Philippines, making this um, medley here of onions, tomatoes, and garlic. This is called the guisa. Holy Trinity in the Philippines. And just continue to cook this down for a few minutes. So we'll add our jalapenos now. Mix it all in there. And stir it for another few minutes. All right, our jalapenos are a good color. Um, it's nice and bright green. Now it's time for us to add our beef. Okay, now if you have one of these mashers, which is really helpful, I'll show you guys. Um, please feel free to use it to break up the ground beef right in the center. And um, if you don't have one of these, that's okay. You can use a ladle, whatever tool you have in your kitchen. Also, let's go ahead and add our seasoning here to the beef, our soy sauce, and our tomato paste. Okay, and we'll just stir all that up. All right, that's looking really good. We're gonna add our potatoes now. Stir it all up in there. And um, since this is picadillo, we're gonna add just a little bit of water to give it that gravy. Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna cover this for a few minutes so we can cook the beef and the potato. And then we'll add our frozen vegetables last. All right, it's the fifth minute. Let's just take a look. All right, that is looking delicious. 
So what I would do right now is lower the heat to medium low and let it simmer for a few more minutes. All right, let's take a look. Let's test those potatoes. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, now let's add our frozen vegetables that's been thawing this whole time. Okay, that's a tip from my mom. And we're just gonna turn off the heat at this point and cover it and let it steam. And I'll be ready to serve. What makes this picadillo recipe so heart healthy is three things. One is using extra lean ground beef, extra, okay? So we have 96% lean, 4% fat, and here is the American Heart Association logo to confirm that this is better for your heart, okay? So per serving, this has two grams of saturated fat. So in comparison to 90% lean and 10% fat, that actually has 4.5 grams of saturated fat. So I will cover um, saturated fat in the future. If you're interested in that, um, and if you have any questions, definitely contact me. Um, the second thing is that we're only using one and a half teaspoon of soy sauce slash liquid aminos for the entire recipe, making it per serving about 150 milligrams, okay? so. That's really great for our heart, lowering our blood pressure. And then we're using avocado oil instead of like canola oil or corn oil, um, because this is very high in monounsaturated fat, which is helpful for lowering our lousy LDL cholesterol and increasing our healthful HDL cholesterol. All right, to balance eating this picadillo, we're gonna have a cup of the picadillo itself, okay? All right, and then we're gonna have our rice, and I am honoring my uh, heritage here with the white rice, okay? So that's a quarter cup. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix everything all together. And as you can tell, the rice is being evenly distributed throughout the plate. So you are getting your rice with your picadillo, but you're minimizing your starch as well. Okay, so this is heart friendly and diabetes friendly. It'll be even more diabetes friendly if you use uh, brown rice or any kind of whole grain rice. Okay, so this is our picadillo, guys. To balance this meal out, we have a baseball sized navel orange. All right, y'all, going in for a taste test. Mmm, the vegetables are cooked perfectly. The salt content is on point. I'm not looking for any more rice than this. And you can't really tell the beef is 96% lean. So I definitely urge you guys to give this recipe a try. All right, y'all, that wraps up our heart healthy version of the picadillo recipe. So hopefully y'all learn a lot about our health, history, and heritage on this one. Please let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share, or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank y'all so, so much. Stay tuned next to me. We're gonna continue on this Filipino American history celebration. So until then, remember, you deserve to be happy and healthy.